Hello, we are here on the south side of Pittsburgh and Margaret Bacco is here on this Happy Wednesday and she's going to explain some of the transitions happening here on the south side uh, under the umbrella of, of Transition Pittsburgh and just all of the changes that are happening over here hopefully moving in the direction of a more sustainable and healthy south side community so welcome thank you kevin this is such a joy to be with you and your wonderful inspirational videos and so here's another opportunity for um, this community to come together through a virtual reality but what you see here standing before you is a real space in transition and the schwartz market as you know has been with us since the um, late 20s and it has held this community in a place of um, nutrition, it's food industry, and the community has come to rely on this as a place for their convenience. And it's closing after all this time, and we tried our best, you know, to keep the community interested and to form a way of sustaining the Schwartz Market in its present form, but as we learn, it's coming to its own natural conclusion. And as it is going through this transition, we know that there are many people who will miss the Schwartz Market. And we are very empathetic, we are very much aware that people are sad about the loss of this very wonderful space that has offered so much to the community. And so we, Alyssa and I and all those who are interested in seeing this project continue on Carson Street, is we're here. We're here to let you know that we're, we're here. We're still here. It's not closing. The doors will be open. And they will not look the same. The Schwartz Market doors in one way are closing, but new ones are opening. And the potential to realize a new vision for the community that's just as nourishing and perhaps even more so is the opportunity and the threshold that we stand on today. So I stand before a project that's happening on the second floor of the um, Carson Street um, building. This is a project that's going to take a long time. But these are the beginnings. We're standing right at the beginning doors, and these are women who love the transformational space and are very well aware of what it means to live fully and vitally and to be in touch with their own creativity. So these doors are an effort of several caring women um, who are dancing in this space as a way of bringing in new life and new energy and new potential, to realize that new potential together. And this is part of our journey. This is part of the visionary process when we get together and we dance and we sing and we create a wall where our visions at least can have an opportunity to take form. And um, this tells a story, of course, of our journey. And um, this project is going to be here as a part of an envisioning um, outreach to anyone willing to share their creativity and their visions. So this is open to the public. We want to work with everybody, bringing their vision into the space where we can incubate what our future needs to be because we have spent time seeing our path together. So this door and this door, we're hoping to put in the windows of Carson Street mm -hmm. as a way of um, engaging the community. We know that there's wisdom here, that there's earth medicine, that there's water medicine, that we're vibrantly alive, that we, we know how to connect to the community around us and we're celebrating the joy of this connection in a way that will really be open and generous. And this is a door that is a pure celebration of passion and movement and dance and hope and heart. And you can see these birds obviously represent our intentions perhaps even, but it would be fun for the community to come and, and paint and, and maybe use those symbols in their own doors and tell us what they mean. We certainly want to know what's meaningful in mm -hmm. this community and we hope to threshold that with you. So come and join us in this transition. Help us to grieve an old form and give celebration to the new. On the doors. Wonderful. Take and care. where where can they get more inf where can we get more information on this project? Well you can go to www.unitythroughcreativity.net and the doors will be there. There will be a Facebook page that's going to demonstrate these doors. I'm 
sure yet in Carson Street blog, or we're yet to form a real media wrapped around this project, but the doors are, are on Unity to Creativity, and that's a nonprofit that's helping to support this project, and um, it's a community-based creativity place to be <laughs> cool well so, i'll post i'll post a link to it in the the link box on this video yeah and maybe we'll edit that last statement and clean up the end well redo it well we can't edit it. it so so uh <laughs> once spontaneous once again me. this is transition pittsburgh and we're bringing together the heads hands and hearts of community to make the transitions that we want to see and uh, this is a wonderful demonstration of it here on the south side as we transition this old building into a, a living building of healing and sustainability. So thank you for watching. Peace.